Nice. Man. Nice job, Rocket. Appreciate that. It's always fun to play. Oh my goodness, man. What a heavenly time, man. Um, uh, you, who'd you say you wrote that? A guy named Arthur Hammond. And what do you know about that guy? I don't know a lot about him. He's just like kind of a one-hit wonder, kind of popped up on the charts back in the mid to late 70s. And cool. Every now and then he'd show up on the talk shows. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he'd show up on the talk on shows? On the talk shows. You know, oh, no way. Shows. Arthur Hammond. Yeah. Was, that, was he related to the people that made the uh, Hammond organ man? I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. Well, let's see. But that was like the main song off of his album. It yeah, just had yeah. that kind of California feel, just like freedom. Just it's a beautiful song, dude. Just taken off. And it's really unbelievable. Yeah. It's really whimsical and like, yeah, it's travel-y. Mm -hmm. Travels. Travels. It travels it's like, Minnesota. forget your cares, back east, just go out west. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> God, that sounds, that sounds pretty heavenly, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, it's, I mean, California is so beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like when I went, I was like, "Whoa!" Like, L.A. was a little, you know, like uh, the outskirts of L.A. is nice. Mm -hmm. L.A. is a little. Pungy. L.A. is crazy. A little pungy, man, or, or or pungent. Pungent. Oh, it's crazy. I mean, you've got yeah. Hollywood, and then you've got East L.A., and then you've got all different areas of L.A. Ah, uh, a lot. It's huge. Oh, it's huge. Yeah. yeah, L.A. is the biggest. I mean, it's like literally it's almost like, like two of Atlanta. Yeah, it is. Yeah. See, I went, I, I went to Venice Beach uh, mm. with, I, I was actually <laughs> with my girlfriend at the time, you know, you remember, uh, we went together and she was part of a poet group that I mm. infiltrated with a fake MySpace account. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, and I was right, and I, and I made this, this page called Keep Hemp Illegal, uh -huh. because I knew they were all like super potheads, you know? Uh -huh. So I was like, and, and it had this lady wearing a moo-moo, like accepting a plaque from McGruff the crime, crime dog, and like <laughs> an eagle with a teardrop in its eye and stuff. And oh it was like, God. and I, was, I friend requested all of them in that, just that, this group, they'd all read each other's poetry. Uh -huh. yeah. So when I, on there, they'd get alerts that she had written a poem. Mm -hmm. And every poem that I wrote was just super, <laughs> super like, uh, I don't even, I mean, I, I'm trying to think of a, if I could remember, a tisket a tasket, put some more corn in the white wicker basket, a flower with its, I, it was something like, <laughs> this flower drinks the tears of my sorrow, and it was talking about pot, you know, uh -huh. and she said that her friend Marsha Colon swine, <laughs> and died from smoking too much pot. <laughs> Colon swine? Yeah. And then, uh, so I wrote a song <laughs> about- Her name was actually Colon swine? No, I mean, I made that up. Yeah, the oh. whole thing was just a fake. But, but uh, it was all, like, buried in the details. Uh, you know, yeah, like, you yeah, would, yeah. and she would misspell words a lot because mm -hmm. I knew they were grammar Nazis, you know, mm -hmm. so they would, it would really get a bent out of shape. Man, I kept that joke going for, like, a year and a half or something, and, and uh, they started writing, like, really angry, you know, messages under mm -hmm. her poems and then, like, directly messaging her. Mm -hmm. And I made like a little notepad of uh -huh. just like hilarious responses, like super, <laughs> like if, since they didn't know, they just thought she was like a dumbass, you know, uh -huh. but, but when you'd like go back and when you, if you were to like, when they, when they finally found uh -huh. out, if you went back and read the crap I was writing, it was the funniest uh -huh. crap ever. Dude. But, um. You were pumpkin before pumpkin. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Big time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Keep I wonder if it's, I wonder if there's any remnant of that on the internet, but. It was so funny, man. And and so here's the thing, um, I wrote I wrote all that poetry and uh, and it was all like like I said it was like very challenging for the the um, their liberal ethics or whatever that means. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> and, uh, and but then like I said they, they you know they were all obsessed with it. They got so I wrote a song like I was like against her. Uh huh. And it was and uh and it was called Colon Swine. <laughs> that is fucking awesome. But it, but it's like the hook was like uh, I don't know if you remember this. It's actually got a cool. It was like, oh, it was uh, it's got some really, it's got a really neat chord progression. I'm trying to. Like, it's like, your family, your family 
Jesus and I <laughs> And maybe George Bush too <laughs> We'll meet you in the sky The apocalypse makes me cry Yes it does! That's from way back in the day. Way yeah. back in the day. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. we flew out there uh, wow. to, to Venice, and they rented out this entire, everybody mm -hmm. on, part of this poetry group rented out the entire hotel called Venice Beach Suites. Mm -hmm. Wow. And everybody had their rooms in there. We were all like hanging out and doing the poetry thing, and uh -huh. you know. And then at some point, I stood up and I was like, I have a little surprise for you guys. Mm -hmm. And I, I was like, I'm the half lady. <laughs> oh man! In a room full of, I mean, you know, these people were so pissed at her, man. Like, you have no idea. There was, somebody even started a page. Uh huh. A, 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 I hate the hemp lady page. Wow. And, and they were like reposting all the stuff that she was writing and stuff. They all 100%. Now here's the kicker. Um, they gave me a guitar and uh -huh. I, I played that song for everybody. Mm -hmm. And then they gave me like this really nice guitar. I don't even know where, where it is anymore, but isn't that cool? Wow. Yeah. And I then, would think you'd be sleeping on the beach. <laughs> no, they loved it. I mean, they, you know, they, they all had a good sense of humor about it yeah. for sure, you know? Right. Um, and then uh, and the, the craziest one, just this is the end of this story. Um, but the, uh, my buddy Toby, our buddy Toby, mm. Um, he was a musician mm -hmm. who has, um, he's got schizophrenia, mm -hmm. you know, he yeah, used to, you're talking about that's the guy that used to play in that band that blew up, but they like didn't take him with him because he was, <laughs> but you know, we love, we love the Toby, but I wish the best one, but, uh, yeah. he, um, it was so funny, man. So he was the one that started the pay, the the anti hemp lady page. Oh really? And, and he completely and he would call me and tell me what she had said, <laughs> and I'd be like, "No way, man! That that's ridiculous!" You know, and I'm just like, "Go, let him tell me about this stuff." <laughs> I would I would just be like, "Well, man, just don't even worry about it. Whatever, you know, like mm -hmm. just acting like it, you would act if you really, you know." And then um, and then I kept oh, it up gosh. for a year. Man, and, he, and he, nobody he, got it. No, wait, I'm saying, like, I took, I went out to dinner with him one night, and he was like, yeah, did you see the hemp lady, what she said today, da, 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 and all this stuff, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, Toby, man, I, I got something to tell you, you know what I'm saying, and he was like, he was like, what, what do you mean, what do you mean, what do you mean, I was like, well, I, I'm the hemp lady, <laughs> and, and he just sat there, and he was like, it was, you could see his eyes start darting around, like trying to like <laughs> replay the tape of the last year of letters and, and all that stuff. He's like, you kept kept it going. I like, kept yeah. it going so hard, but it, you know, it was a harmless, hilarious joke. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, bro, like he, it, 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 I, I've never seen anyone short circuit so hard <laughs> in my life, dude. Yeah. He could not, he, and he didn't believe me. He was like, "No, you're not." I like, yes, I am. I'm the hemp lady, man. Like, it was a joke. It's just like a page. I wrote all that poetry and all that stuff. And he's like, no, no you're not. That Ooh. can't, you can't be. I was like, what do you mean I can't be? I talked to her. He talked to her? <laughs> he sent her letters and stuff, and she would respond, but it was just the, the note. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, and so I, like, so, like, um, I, uh, <laughs> I, I ended up um, <laughs> I ended up having to like it, it got so he was so convinced that I was lying to him mm -hmm. about the lie yeah. that he made me like log into the account in front of him and everything and, and he was like oh and then he, and then he loved it he thought it was hilarious <laughs> right but it, it, it just it, you know but Toby though like his like with the schizophrenia like you know delusion he would believe delusions yeah you know, like he didn't well, know if they yeah. were a delusion or not so it was like kind of like you know I'm sure like he was having that one of those like kind of like moments where he's like oh I, you know I never even thought about that that probably is what it is he's yeah. like is this reality or not yeah I didn't really think about that wow. you know but it was still so funny I mean like you know he, he he's over he's it. got a good it sense didn't of humor. traumatize him or anything no, no. <laughs> he's got a good sense of humor about stuff uh, and, and you know like yeah he, he's funny he's yeah he wouldn't he wouldn't even like hold a grudge or oh anything. god no yeah especially <laughs> over something like that that's totally out of his playbook. I mean, yeah. 
It's like it's, he, 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 if he had a thought of it, he would have done it too. Yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> the, the, the eagle crying and the this picture of some random lady I found in a like a moo moo business suit <laughs> accepting a plaque from McGruff and crying. And the whole suit. story about like her, his friend di- her friend died from smoking too much pot <laughs> contained all of these little details that were just uh, they were just missing the mark and like misspellings and stuff mm-hmm. like that were just missing the mark just a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm currently I have one uh, called Mike Christian, mm. Mike my Christian Mike Christian on Facebook, but don't don't tell anybody okay. on, on YouTube. <laughs> Mike, Mike Christian. Yeah, you just gotta look it up. It's hilarious. He's, put, he's got a pickleball shirt on, <laughs> yeah, and he's like ninety that. years old. And it's like he just—I, I'm not really active with it anymore. But for a minute, I was—I was messing with everybody. It was so funny, dude. But <laughs> just again, the same sort of just satirical. Up to your old tricks. <laughs> up to my old. You know, I gotta have a—I have to have an outlet for it. Yeah. Well, if I was, yeah. Hey, what's up? Well, I guess it's your turn, Phil. What you got? Um, let's see. Uh, um, how about we uh, revisit um, I want to say Violent Femmes, but Ooh, like cool, we, I don't know if we've like, even done that. Well, what do you want to do? Which song? Just like the the, the popular one. Okay. The, I mean, the most popular one. Mm-hmm. Blister in the Sun. Okay. By Violent Fins. I remember that one also being on like, what was it, Rock Band? Rock Band 3? Rock Probably. Band oh, was it? Yeah. I mean, I would imagine. Man, it, seemed it, like, it seemed like the kind of, you know... Um, it was in the rotation of the set. The, the, bass, the bass line for that song is like really heavy and good. Like it's like... Mm-hmm. I mean, like it's like kind of like a stand-up bass, I think. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because they have like they have like a, you know, their setup was like just super easy, like a, like, you know, when they played live, it, you just like get like a, a, a snare drum, mm. and like you know, or like a snare drum and like a hi hat, like all you would play. Yeah, they were they they had really cool instrumentation. I mean, 
jaw yeah. harps and saxophones, oh, wow. along with their like minimalist acoustic setup. That's like when the Stray Cats came out. They had a stand-up bass and a guy standing up and not uh, sitting down playing like a snare. And, and uh, yeah. That's all you need. That's, that's really, yeah. That's all you need. It's a it's just like with like some brushes. Yeah. Like, you know, like that's that's like. Dude, that's we could set you up with that if you want. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I would actually like. Um, I love that brush. I like the brushes. I love the brushes and a snare. Good. Yeah. So good. Dude. It really is. I know how to use them right. He likes it. Yeah, I love, I love like that jug band mm -hmm. vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe we'll take a break and, and do that in a minute. But. What was that Beatles song that you did? Uh, that was um. There are places, is that right? There are places. I think so. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I didn't even know that was Beatles until you said it. No way. Yeah. The place This guy, this, you know, is, is Hank Williams. Okay. Oh. oh, I would imagine it's senior or junior or one of those two. George Jones. George Jones. Oh, please, by, <laughs> by all means. Yeah. I do some bartender. I don't no. buy uh, no. I don't buy
Oh, it's like a George Jones what? Yeah, it's I was listening to some of that old stuff that he did, man. It's yeah, it's like he's like he's like a he's like a, a legend. He yeah. was a legend. Or what? Yeah, George Jones, my God, man. Um, that man his, is his voice and his delivery. Mm-hmm. Did he also do Silver Wings? No, that was Merle Haggard. Ah, <laughs> you missed your opportunity. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm gonna do a different Merle Haggard song, but you should do Silver Wings okay. next time on. But uh. This is for Phil's turn. We do uh, Merle Haggard song. Got Merle Haggard playing on the radio. Oh, let's do it. First thing I remember doing was that lonesome was over. Younger and stream were going up to ride. Also did some pretty crazy things too. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Like outlaw western for real. It's almost like you had to have a prerequisite of being in prison, but not to write a song like "Mama Tried." (laughs) I mean, that's probably the best like way of describing Mm -hmm. getting off on the wrong track in your life, you know. So you, you, yeah, you know, write what you know, I guess, Merle. (laughs) And then Willie Nelson and Merle Haggard. Oh my god. Yeah, those guys all get together. 
Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Yeah, and then he had like a huge, big ten gallon hat, like you know. Yeah, like, at one hat. time. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, he went like, through a number of different phases. With like the feathers and stuff. Like, oh, 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 yeah. Then you got David Allen Coe. Oh, I know. Yeah, that guy's. <laughs> I saw that guy in Atlanta, man. Mama really tried for him. <laughs> it didn't work, yeah, out. I mean, work out. He was like a favorite biker uh, kind of star. Yeah. And I saw him. He was playing one of those Flying V Gibsons. No way. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I wouldn't have really thought he would play that. Yeah. And he was playing some of those old rock and roll songs. Oh, along cool. with his stuff too. You mean like, you know, like? Um, no, no, I got one. Okay. Let's see if I. I'll try to pull it off. Uh, Let's try it. Ready? Yeah. Just take the more records off the shelf. Cannot imagine that. Pete Seeger. Solid as a rock is the one that comes to mind. Is it rock or rock? Yeah. No rock way, rock. dude. Whoa. That like the car commercial. I mean the truck commercial. Uh-huh. <laughs> Everybody rock. thinks about <laughs> How strong as that could be. Yeah, that sounds I mean, it's like definitely like <laughs> there's like a uh, uh, you know, like uh, an evolution in his sound mm -hmm. from one of the that song to the. He also the, did Hollywood Nights. I don't know that one. Okay. Yeah, no, oh wait, Hollywood Nights. Nice. Uh, something like it's like a. Uh, uh, how did it go? It's like you know it's on Hollywood Nights or something. I don't know. Wait, didn't he also do the one that's like? It's something about like being a trucker with long hair and going into a restaurant and getting judged. What is that song? Is I that think Charlie it, Daniels? No. No. Okay. No, no. no. It, it, it's more of a, it's mm -hmm. more of a Bob Seger. Okay. Well, I got something for you. Okay. The, now try this out. Ready? You ever heard of the band Sigaros? Mm -mm. It's mm -hmm. a. They're from like, what well, Iceland, right? Yeah. And, and I think they he actually just sang like, onomatopoeia, like he just made it up. There was no, there were no words at all to the music. It was just like, fake words. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Uh oh. I like that. I like that. Sorry about that. It's a dance. That's a good little dance track right there. I'm gonna take this as my. Oh uh, no. Okay. Well, I'll, I'm gonna give it to Phil then. Hello. All right. Hey, how you doing? Okay, how are you? Good. Uh -huh. So, say it with me at home. Yeah, I'm free. Do what? Say it with us at home. Yeah, I can hear you fine. Bob 
Seeger. Bob Seeger. Roast beef. Oh, okay. Roast beef. Kebab. Seeger roast beef 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 kebab. That's a tongue twister, man. Yeah. Well, it's it's really like a it's you know it's a. What's up, bro? Hey, man. How's it going? Doing real good. Doing great. I mean, I mean, some leftovers from from you know from the barbecue. I gave you that much. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I made you too much. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. Joy, uh, it's it's even better just like you know like the next day. Snap yeah, right back. It does. Yeah. It really does. It's amazing. This is like I said. This is coming in and we can do music. Hey, the music. I said it in one two and I don't go. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I had, we had a good time. Too. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, had a little events. Yeah, we sit there. Yeah. Everybody get fucked up. You know what I mean? Uh, like not that. every well yeah the name I can't think of nobody else really don't uh, <laughs> I can't <laughs> <laughs> we'll expunge that from the record <coughs> I played the, the fifth well well I guess we got to do another one before because Rocky's taking his phone call um, yeah. let's see I was gonna do uh Come on, 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 it's such joy, come on, it's such joy to me. Take it easy. Everybody's got something to hide, except for me and my monkey. Somewhere I heard that. Just says inside out, and I, and I bought it because of this song. Inside is the outside, is the inside. The outside is the inside, in the end. Turn this thing around, you can really see what's going down. At the outside, from the inside, look in. Oh my.
Check out Frank, Her our buddy Frank Hurricane opening for Fish. UA. UA. This, like, I think he did this open for Fish like yesterday. This is his t shirt. You can pick one up if you like. I'm gonna give me one. Top Shrimp. <laughs> 